moving. But the way these comedians suck up to Joe Rogan, I don't understand because some of these guys, especially someone like a Brendan, he would probably cry and sob on the podcast, God forbid, if Joe Rogan passed away. But when he's speaking about his family member passing away, you know, um, his mother's grandma, his own grandmother, it's like whatever. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. It's like he accidentally fucking ran over a pigeon. But when it comes to this Joe Rogan guy, the way they bred him or the way they suck him off is so bizarre to me. And this video clip here, courtesy of the Fire and the Kids subreddit, is essentially, the title says something like, does Joe Rogan laugh like Brendan Schaub or does Brendan Schaub laugh like Joe Rogan? And to me, this is an example of somebody really loving somebody to another level. The fact that you would copy their laugh to this point, like at a grown adult, because this happens when you're a kid. When you're a kid and somebody's cool, especially for boys, I don't know if it happens in girl groups. I'm not sure if it's the same in girl groups, but I know for boys, when you're growing up and there's a cooler member of your like group, whatever, you sometimes copy what they say. You might copy their vernacular. You might copy the way they would the way they dress, um, the way they carry themselves, the jokes they make. You might just copy them because you just want to, you know, you want to sort of, uh, you want to kind of uh, copy your cool friend, right? And you're a kid, you're flipping under 10 years old. But these grown adults, these grown adults copying Joe Rogan, Joe, sorry, Joe, Rogan, Joe, Rogan, Joe Rogan's mannerisms in their, you know, 40s, late 30s, 50s, is just beyond cringe for me. It's beyond cringe. It makes me flipping want to vomit in my stomach. And this video kind of proves it. So this is, uh, is Brendan copying Joe or is Joe copying Brendan in terms of their laugh? Oh, I got, a, oh, actually, I got a super chat here from Ted, from Ted Hugh Hodges for $7. Thank you, my friend. I, I, um, I appreciate the super chat. It says here, I've been creeping on your weird ass streams for a while and love the rants. You're entertaining, dude. Thanks for the random streams. No problem, Todd Hughes. I appreciate you donating on the super chat. Thank you, friend. So this is the clip. Does Joe laugh like Brendan or does Brendan laugh like Joe? <laughs> All right, take it easy, Brendan. <laughs> Brendan, take it easy. <laughs> Brendan, take it <laughs> Bro, you don't even know you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take it easy, Brendan. <laughs> Brendan, take it easy. Brennan, take like a cliff climber. All right, take it easy, Brennan. Brennan, take it easy. Brennan, take it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't get him back in the car. Like you're sitting there honking the horn. You can't. That guy's out there. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Rogan right there. <laughs> All right, take it easy, Brent. Brent, take it easy. Brent, Brent, take it's, it's, it's insane. It's legitimately one of the most insane things I've ever seen in my entire life. A grown man copying how another grown man laughs. I just, that's what I said at the beginning of it. Like, do you guys have a person? outside of your family and friends who you would suck up to this level, to this extent, like an adult, somebody you met when, again, again, this is a thing as well. He, he met Joe Rogan when he was in his thirties, I'm assuming, or maybe late twenties. That's not somebody that you've met since you were a child and you grew up together and you have, went through hard times. No, it's somebody you met in your adult age. And just because they happen to be really rich and successful, you, you would lose yourself to them. That person does exist. And like I said, I, I said, my person would be maybe Michael Jackson, Pharrell, and maybe if it was a sporting figure, maybe David Beckham for the memories that he, he gave me when I was young, growing up in it, being a Man United fan. Maybe David Beckham, Pharrell, and Michael Jackson. Maybe. But then it, I'd still be gross after a while. It'd still be gross that I'm fucking sucking up to a dude. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just a man. Like, it's not that big of a deal. He just played football. They just make music. He was just an entertainer. But this is fucking insane. I can't get by it, but God bless Theo for recognizing that he was fucking laughing like fucking uh, Brent, like Rogan, because this is just nuts to me. I don't understand it. I really don't. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Um, someone please, un please tell me in the flipping, um, I don't like sucking up to Amy. It feels gross. Agree. Sonny says the insults, the intelligence of the person you're saying it to. Agreed. Um, I never realized that says Todd Hughes. David Kingsbury says, how about Elon Musk? I also like Rogan. No, I like, I like Rogan. I like Elon Musk. They're both cool. But do you ever meet about that laugh? 
what the fuck is going on exactly just wait if his wife le- left again he'll have the he'll have the fifth of tiger's whiskey next to him next so uh mm said someone who can give you a career just for being nearby yeah that's a good point mm makes a very good point someone who can give you a career just for being nearby like being close to them i think it makes sense for these losers who can't get ahead any other way it does make sense because without joe rogan would these guys be who they are probably but not to the level that they're at do you know what i mean that platform that connection definitely bolstered their career we know for sure brendan Shaw wouldn't be who he is without joe rogan that's for sure matter of fact we definitely know that um, so maybe it makes sense that like, if you can, you know, because they all know if they get on Rogan, they're going to become, you know, essentially you're going to, there's an option that you could become a flipping multi-millionaire if you play your cards right. So maybe that makes sense. But sitting there and going, ah, and laughing the way he does, like, because you think it's cool, it's fucking redacted to the weirdest tip. Honestly, honestly, it is. I just start, I just can't, just can't get by it. Um, what? Sonny says Elon is a twitchy bloodline South African royal lineage. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. But yeah, um, I just don't get it. I really don't. I really don't get it. I know Joe Rogan's amazing. I know the show is great for comedians. I know it does a lot for their careers. But going to this level where you can't say, for, for one, no comedian says anything wrong about Rogan. There's no comedian that will ever come out and say anything disparaging about him. That's weird. Two, who else can want to get on the show? Two, for the most part, they copy his mannerisms. Um, and he can do no wrong in their eyes. It's just weird. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. It's just strange for me. I just find it weird. 